Hello, this is Movie from GameAndAds.co.uk. Now, most of you out there will remember a time when games consoles were great big massive hulking monstrosities that sat underneath your equally hulking monstrosity of a television. And uh, games actually were physical media that, that uh, existed in the form of these cartridges. The good old uh, blow and hope for the best technique, like that. Now, a new uh, buzzword at the moment on Web 2.0 is cloud computing. And one company that's tried to get in on that bandwagon is on live. And down here, we have their first attempt and their latest, greatest uh, invention, as it were, to actually get in on that bandwagon, the on live mini console. So, what we ask in, in this country when uh, broadband speeds are that good compared to the rest of Europe, can this thing hold up? Basically, what's all the fuss about? Introducing OnLive, the fastest way to play top-tier games anywhere. With OnLive, you can play games instantly on your TV, nearly any PC or Mac, and even on mobile devices like the iPad and soon Android tablets. Just sign up free at OnLive.com and download the OnLive app, whether you're at home on your OnLive game system, at work, or on the road. You can even get a window into the action on your iPad with the OnLive viewer. Available now free from the App Store. Watch the hottest video games played live. Check out trailers for upcoming games. Or connect with friends by sending messages, rating videos, cheering, jeering and more. All from just about anywhere. The OnLive viewer is also coming soon to Android tablets like the Samsung Galaxy Tab. Experience instant gaming anytime, anywhere. Sign up now for free at OnLive.com. Just play. So, the burning question is, can OnLive really be as good as the hype is making out? We speak to Andre uh, from, from OnLive and play test the system to destruction to find just that, just that. Hello Gamer Dads, this is Moobit here. Coming at you with another tech review. We're at, we're at Eurogamer 2011 at the OnLive stands here with Andre. Nice How to you meet doing? you sir, thank you for being on the show. Thank you. Okay. If you could hold the mic a little bit closer, because they're, sure. not, they're not brilliant in here right. with, the, with the background. Sorry about that. Yeah. Uh, what are we looking at here today? So this is on live. The new. This the new is console. this is on live. We we're, we've just launched in the UK. On demand gaming, player games where you are, wherever you are, with on all your devices, with whatever device you want to play with. So for example, you want to play on a tablet. We have we have tablet gaming. You want to play on your PC. You want to play on your Mac. You want to play on your TV. You play your games wherever you are. Sounds all excellent to me. Obviously, we've had a lot of uh, footage on the internet, of course. So we've this big thing on the on the site here. Sure. Like the game dads over here obviously want to know a bit more about it. But can you run us through the system itself? So maybe some of the uh, features and and what it can do. And I think I, you can actually post them to Facebook as well. Is that right? That, that's right. Yeah. So you, if you uh, once you sign in, once you sign up for the for your account, a free account, uh, you can integrate your your Facebook account with your on live account. Excellent. Uh, and uh, every time you score an achievement. We'll help you announce it on Facebook. Brag to your friends. That's what it's all about, right? Always. We've got to have a bit of bragging rights on Game of Dads, haven't we, guys? Right. So let's. Uh, I'm going to switch to the uh, close-up cam here now. We're going to. We'll show a, a little bit of the uh, oh, the, actual, sure. yeah, yeah. The, the thing itself, Definitely. and then we'll go for them. We'll go for some questions. Is that okay? Awesome. Thank you. Cool. Okay. All right. So. Uh, so what we're looking at here is the OnLive service. Uh, this is our main game service portal. Uh, from here you can um, watch everybody else in the system who's playing. Um, so here I am, I'm, I'm, looking at, I'm watching someone play uh, Street Fighter uh, that, uh, that's uh, you know, on, on live. Someone is, is 
currently playing. They're they're setting up their game. Um, if I uh, if I actually wanted to join, you know, start start playing this game as well, I can launch right into the game. Um, no install. Uh, it, everything is streaming right from our uh, our, our service uh, running in Europe. So nice and stuff. Launching. And it looks like Street Fighter. We're just yeah, we're just in. I mean, that's it. Um, I didn't you know I didn't load any CDs. Um, this is all streaming from the service. Looking good to me. Now, is this uh, the actual coding of the game? Is this based on the uh, like the PC version, the Xbox version, or? So, so all of our games are the PC version, um, and uh, and the, the the beauty of it is because it's streaming from the cloud. Um, we don't we don't pay attention to whether you're actually playing it on a PC. So, if you were to buy this game now on a CD or DVD, plug it into your PC, you've locked your game to the PC. Uh, in our case. You could start playing this game on your PC, uh, save your game, and continue playing on a Mac because it's all streaming from the cloud. Save your game again, pick it up on your TV using our micro console. It's all, uh, all, all of these are a possibility. Excellent. I mean, we'll switch over here with the camera. I can see that we're actually running the same thing on a tablet PC as well. Um, so let's have a little uh, shot of the actual TV first. Here we go. So that's it running on a tablet PC as well. So if you're out on out and about, you can actually uh, walk it up to that, which is pretty cool. Ah. So, so we can actually spectate uh, the game that we're playing on uh, with the micro console on the TV. Um, now this, this guys is a cool cool feature. It's got to be done. Um, Imagine you gamer dads, so you can go on your on your uh, tablet here, spectate what's going on on your mates' games right here. This is what it's all about. Hello Gamer Dads, this is Mubit from GamerDads.co.uk here with another tech unboxing stroke review for you and it's to go along with our report from Eurogamer 2011 because it is this, the OnLive Micro Console. A lot of you have been uh, asking about this thing and uh, obviously there's a very active uh, forum post about OnLive as a service. Um, I mean you don't necessarily need the micro console to play on live games which is the beauty of it. You can actually uh, play them on your PC, on your tablet like an iPad, you can play it on your Android handset very soon which I'm sure there'll be an iPhone thing coming out very soon. Um, but yeah I mean if you're going to have a PC uh, you do need to have a wide broadband collection preferably. Uh, just to let you, know, you guys know, um, two megabits is minimum, but five megabits is uh, is recommended for for your broadband connection on there. But uh, you know, if you've got that kind of connection um, and you don't want to be tied to your PC, and you want to play on a big HD screen, then this is the way to go. And very sexy it is too. Let's get the box open for you. Um, as you can see, as is the way with things like Apple and and that for the last few years always boxed very sexily. Now then, inside here you've got your OnLive micro console which you plug into your HD TV and your controller which is very more of a magnification of uh, a 360 controller but with the positioning of a PlayStation controller on the analog sticks. Here's the OnLive console itself, uh, a bit of plastic over the front so we'll take that off for you. Oh, the satisfying rip of taking plastic off of gadgets, I love it. And here it is, very shiny in the studio lighting, it is too. But it, as you can see, this is my hand, it is very, very small. To give you a size kind of a size comparison, that's an iPhone 4. And it lays just it lays bang over it with about what a centimeter coming out there. There and there, a couple of centimeters there, because of the angle of it. Very sexy. There's the end. Not much thicker. So on the back you have, let's switch to macro, my new catchphrase now, HDMI port, AV port, obviously you want to be using HDMI if you can, 
audio, serial, ethernet to plug in, in your cable and your power, your AC on the front. Nice and simple. Two USB ports, that's it. Uh, the usual um, specs on the back there. Um, the USB ports can be used for the controller. The controllers are actually wireless, um, but uh, you know you can plug them in to, to run from the power. Um, I do believe you can plug in uh, anything into these. So you could plug in a USB hub, you could plug in a, a keyboard, uh, anything you want really. Um, so we'll put that, set that down to the side for a moment. The usual kind of instruction booklets, that's your warranty, etc. Put that in there. Quick setup guide. So this gives you an idea of the console itself. So there you go. HDMI into the TV, Ethernet cable into your modem, and it's the plug. It's that simple. Let's put the batteries in the controller. You can have it wired or whatever. Right. So the controller itself, very quickly. I'm trying to make this quick because uh, our um, our contact in on in the on live stand at Eurogamer uh, was very helpful, and you'll you'll watch this is if you're watching this as part of the vidcast, you'll see a lot of the explanations on there. Really, it's just to give you an idea of what this thing looks like in someone's hand. Oh yes, take the plastic off. Mm. And there's your controller, shiny, shiny. As you can see, very good D-pad, fantastic for fighting games, and uh, both myself and Steve can vouch for that because we played Street Fighter 4 on this thing. Very much like an Xbox, you've got your, your, your on live button, your connecting button there. That tells you uh, which controller you are because this thing can take up to four wireless controllers and you can talk to your friends through a Bluetooth headset, much in the same way as a PS3. Select and start, A, B, X, Y, uh, your bumper buttons and your trigger buttons. Very nice, actually. The very, very good spring on them, not too spongy. Um, much like an Xbox controller again, uh, you've got a battery port on the bottom, so you can put your batteries in there, or you can use uh, a rechargeable battery that you get in the box, we'll show you that in a second. On the front here's the important buttons here. Now, these are used for brag clips. What the hell are brag clips, I hear you ask? Well, uh, I'll try and do an overlay for you um, for a promo video. Basically, this console is always um, recording what you're doing because there is no processing power hardly going on inside this thing. For any of you guys who aren't that technically minded, um, the idea of this is that all the games run on the central servers at OnLive itself. All you are effectively watching is a video stream coming through the internet into this and into your TV. That's effectively all you're doing, which is why the fastest broadband speed as possible is recommended because then you're not going to get any latency or, or skipping or anything like that. Although, to be honest, in my experience, we haven't um, actually experienced any of that yet while we've been playing it. Now, brilliant for Gamer Dad's nights. Um, all you need to do, if you say you're playing a first person shooter up against the GDs, all you need to do is if you get a really cool kill that you want to show off on uh, at the moment it'll post directly to Facebook on its own you program it in on the website um, but it, it's soon going to be posting to YouTube and Twitter as well we are reliably informed by contacting on live all you do is bang that button brag clip comes up and it automatically posts the last 10 seconds of the game that you've just been playing while you continue playing which is absolutely brilliant you can imagine the uh, the bragging rights you can have with the community on that showing off about uh, you know taking somebody out in a, in a crazy way on the to trade the usual kind of stuff this is the plug uh, nice shiny black box again lovely presentation so there's your AC adapter can you see that there you go AC adapter and then in this box the all important cabling you get everything in here. Um, a lot of people I found at Eurogame were wondering how they're going to connect this thing. They didn't realise you could lift the tray up, so don't make that mistake. Uh, I had a few people coming back going, oh, they don't get any cables. It's like, well, lift the tray up then, mate. There's your... Uh, HD, uh, what's that? That's the USB. There you go. USB on that end. That goes into control if you want to keep it wired. Uh, Infinite cable, if you've not gotten already. Whoops. Batteries for your controller pack that comes with it. 
rechargeable controller pack there so what you are best off doing is, is charging that up using that to play your games when it starts running low you stick some batteries in get that on charge in the meantime and then uh, swap it around again fantastic you never have to stop playing apart from sleeping but who needs sleep and of course your HDMI cable to go into the back it's that simple On Live is cloud gaming, but what is cloud gaming? Cloud gaming is a new way to experience the hottest games instantly, wherever and whenever you want them. Cloud gaming doesn't use discs, so you never have to wait in line to get the games you want. Cloud gaming doesn't require high-end hardware for you to play the latest titles. Cloud gaming doesn't require big downloads, so you can start playing instantly. You can even play the same game on your PC, Mac, or TV. That's why with OnLive, all your time is game time. Just like when you get your music or watch videos on demand, OnLive delivers the games you want instantly, right from the cloud. OnLive builds all the computing power you need into its own servers so you can play top-tier games over the internet from nearly any PC, Mac, or TV. It's gaming made easier and faster. It's instant gaming from OnLive. So what are you waiting for? Play now for free at OnLive.com. Just play. So we're back. Um, just wanted to show you the controller once more, give you a size comparison. That's an Xbox 360 controller. It's the nearest thing with the shape. And basically, it fits. It is a 360 controller. I think they must have used the same manufacturer, frankly. It's exactly the same. So if you're used to a 360 controller, you know exactly what you're getting here. The only difference being, it's a PlayStation setup with the D-pad there and the left analog stick there. You know, the two at the bottom where, rather than the analog stick up here. So if you're not used to that, fair, fine. Obviously you've got your buttons on the front. Battery packs are exactly the same. Even plugs in the same as just a different, uh, different cable. Okay, so there's that. You don't even have to use the online thing. I mean, if you're using it on your PC especially, but you can use it on this console as well. Um, but it supports that controller, but you can also use a, a normal 360 controller for, for Windows if you're gonna plug it into your PC. Uh, the drivers are all already there. Um, same for the wireless uh, 360 controllers if you're using it on your PC. And it also, that I've got a list here, uh, there's the Logitech Chill Stream, the Logitech F510, uh, the P3 uh,200 Rumble Pad, and the and the uh, Mad Cats Game Pad, all while playing on your PC or your Mac. Because as I say, that one of the selling points of this thing is the cloud service. It's also one of the uh, things that people are getting a bit nervous about, especially as oldies who like to hold physical things in their hand. But if you can imagine this, okay, you've got your game. They're all on the server online okay you don't need a powerful PC I know for a fact a gamer dad has got his hands on one of these and he's using a six-year-old PC because it's you know it works because it's just running the video okay you could start playing for example on here on your TV you know your missus comes in wants to watch the Memmerdale if you just got the one TV you pause it on save it on here flip over to your PC pick it up exactly where you left off on your PC bit bored of that you want to go to bed you, you switch that off you flip it over to your iPad or whatever in the future and you can carry on playing on there you go to your in-laws you can use their PC or take that which is tiny you know in your back pocket basically plug it into their uh, Ethernet when you get there carry on playing where you were it's brilliant you could access these games anywhere anytime which is always always a bonus uh, when you need something to do um, but just like I say, bear in mind in the back of your head, the best, the better the broadband connection, uh, the better the service you're going to get. So you need a minimum of, of two megabits. If not, five plus is highly recommended. Okay, just to make you aware of that. Now it, it has to be wide. If it's two megabits, it has to be wide. It will not work. Okay, if you're going to use Wi-Fi make sure it's five megabits or, or above otherwise it's just going to go all skew with it will work but it does go a bit pixelated because uh you know obviously uh, you know the wi-fi is not really built for it um i'll put up some tech specs on the actual review on gaming uk and uh, there are certain um 
there's a certain setting you have to put on your Wi-Fi network to do it. Um, if you've got like a standard router, um, it ha it's not on the right setting really. Um, I'm not going into details here, but if you want to find out more, I will put some very detailed tech specs on the write-up on gamerdads.co.uk, so please do check that out. In fact, if I get a chance, I'll put a QR code here, you can scan it and go to the write-up on there. Bear in mind it's going to be on Game of Ads 2.0 which is being released, um, I'm recording this in September, it's probably going to be October, no November when 2.0 gets released and it's going to be on there as well. Uh, but it should um, it'll be the same website address URL so it should get to the same place. Okay, um, I'm going to, I'm going to wrap, wrap this up now um, and we'll get back to Andre and uh, GD who are about to play some Street Fighter 4. Take it easy. Most of you know, Street Fighter is one of my favourite games, so I've challenged Andre to a quick game. Let's see who wins this one. <laughs> is it going to be GD or Andre? You're going down. <laughs> So we've got GD on the right, Andre on the left. I, if not now, GD's playing Ryu. So G, GD is at the moment on the on the left. GD is Ryu. Andre is playing as Yuki. Not a lot going on at the moment. Come on, GD. <laughs> I do can indeed. And he's down! Oh, oh, One nil to Gamer Dads. And the man who who basically <laughs> works for the company oh, is going there. <laughs> I don't know this character. <laughs> Come on, Andre, you can do it. Tentatively, tentatively come along. Now, oh! He's getting his ass up, there you go. A little bit more. Here we go. Oh, down he goes! So that's, and that's... That's all streaming from the cloud. Sorted. No local installs, not locked to your PC, not locked to your Xbox. Play wherever you are with any device you want to play on. I think the guys proved this point, don't you? Right, so that's a quick uh, overview of the on-live gaming console. Look out on GDTV for my review of the actual tech coming up very, very soon. Uh, Steve, uh, how would you feel about be beating the, one of the curators of the actual console? Well, I, you know, you know what I'm like with Street Fighter. I, I love the game, so uh, it's only natural that I had to beat him. Oh, but. you mean you're a ringer? <laughs> oh, that is wrong. Game of Dads one, developers nil. We'll carry on that one for the rest of the day, I think. <laughs> we'll taking them on. <laughs> so, just got a couple of questions to close up, Andre. If that's sure. okay. Yeah. Um, GD, um, you, you were saying about the actual uh, streaming part of it within the country. I mean, that's yeah. one of the questions. That in the UK, there's a concern that um, the the streaming might not be as great as it is in the US. Sure. Um, how is how is that going to affect gaming in the UK? Well, I mean, as you can see here, uh, it's it's looking really good. So yep. um, it looks like you know we we spent four years of developing this in the U.S. and rolling it out in the U.S. We're, we're bringing it to the U.K. as a very mature product. So I, I think I think uh, we're going to be doing just fine. Well, I can definitely say that that worked brilliantly. Yeah. There was you no know, no lag at all. It worked fantastically. So. It looks really impressive, guys. Um, the other concern is is that a lot of people um, think that if they're buying games off you and the company went under, for example, that sure. they would lose that. Um, what what would you have to say to all that? I would say, look, we we developed this again, four years in the U.S., rolled it out to the U.S. We're in the expansion mode now. 
rolling it out to the UK, uh, make sure it's a you know, solid experience in the UK, and then start adding other European countries uh, you know, to the mix. So what kind of developers actually are, are on board with this right now? Can you, can you list a few? Uh, well, or? I mean, get a shot of the wall behind us. I mean, you know, everything... We'll get that later on, guys. You know, everything from <laughs> electronic arts to 2K games. I mean, we have... A few companies up there. <laughs> One or two. One or two. I don't know. Uh... So, and yeah, when, when, we, when we launched the service, uh, we had 19 games. We, right. today, today we have almost 150 games on the service. So I think, I think we've made a, a positive impression <laughs> with, the, with the publishers. Fair enough. Uh, from a technical standpoint, I mean, can you tell me what kind of uh, bandwidth someone would need in this country to actually to run it smoothly? Sure. I mean, to, to run it smoothly, to, to you know, to have an experience like this, you really need you know five megabits. We recommend a minimum of three megabits, and and then we'll okay. we'll adjust. Um, but uh, but if you have a if you have a large screen, if you have a you know a high re high a high definition screen, you want you know the, the the best experience you can get, you know, five megabits. And about the same for, uh, for when you're running on an iPad, for example. I mean, you're looking off hotel. Uh, yeah, yeah. So, so that, that's where I mean, that, that's a we can accommodate. You know, lower bandwidth. We can adjust. Uh, we can we can okay. we can downgrade the, the quality. I mean, our intent is to keep your gameplay active, and so um, we'll we'll adjust the quality. You know, based on the the bandwidth that's available to us, uh, and make okay. sure that you're still playing your game and enjoying the experience. Uh, you know, depending on where you are and what size screen you have, and so on. Excellent, excellent. I think one last question from the Game of Dads community really is uh, you, you mentioned that, that you've got some quite advanced parental settings on there as well for, for those of you know we've all got kids really so sure, what sure. can you tell us about those kind of settings? So and so we um, uh, at, at PAX we, uh, we announced our parental controls um, and yes uh, if, if you are concerned about the content uh, that your kids are, are playing with um, you can restrict them to um, you know the various PEGI levels um, that you feel are appropriate for your family. Excellent stuff. Any more questions, JD, from that point? No, no more questions, but certainly just playing on live now, it certainly seems uh, a brilliant system, something that we'll be bringing to Game of Dads very soon. And if we can beat the developer on their own system, then there's hope for all of us. <laughs> Thank you very much. Well, last off, can you tell us when, it, when the thing's going to be released and what kind of price point we're looking at? Uh, well, it's uh, it's available now. We uh, we we just launched in uh, in the UK as of as of uh, midnight. Okay. Um, and uh, the the service you can you can download the client, install it on your PC or Mac for free. Play almost every game for the for as a demo for free. Uh, uh, games are available a la carte, range from 199 to 39.99. Uh, and if you want to attach this to your TV, our micro console, uh, which comes with a controller and all your all the cables you need, uh, is available for $69.99. Oh, and and uh, uh, one more thing, we're we're running a special. Specials, ah, specials are important. Yes. Uh, so through October 9th, um, uh, you can get uh, your first game for a pound. There you go. Sport for choice, then, eh? Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Oh, street Fire it is for me, then. <laughs> I, I, I'm going to ask for a rematch, too. Yeah. Have to get exchange game with Taz and we'll take it on. <laughs> <laughs> so uh, that's it for Moby and Game of Dads. Uh, Andre, thank you for coming on the show. Thank you Nice very to much. meet you. Thank you. Pleasure to meet you. Thank you. On live, check it out.